Hello, in this video, we're going to solve for the relative maxima and minima. Here's our function where we're going to find the relative maxima and minima. We're going to take the derivative of this function with respect to x. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of minus 6x squared is minus 12x. The derivative of 9x is just 9. And the derivative of 1 is 0. So that is our derivative. We're going to set that derivative equal to 0 to find the critical values. So setting the derivative equal to 0, I'm going to factor out a 3 here. Factoring out a 3. And then what we have in parentheses can be simplified down to the following. So our critical values here, x equals 1. If x is 1, this will indeed equal 0. And if x equals 3, this will indeed equal 0. Our next step is to get the second derivative. So we're going to solve for the second derivative. Here's our first derivative. So we're going to take a derivative of a derivative. So the derivative of 3x squared is 6x. The derivative of minus 12x is minus 12. And the derivative of 9 is 0. So that is our second derivative. Now we're going to evaluate the second derivative at the critical values. So taking our second derivative here and plugging 1 in for x, wherever, wherever we have x, we're going to plug in 1, and we get an answer here of minus 6. 6 minus 12 is minus 6. So since the second derivative is negative, a relative maxima occurs when x equals 1. Now when x equals 3, plugging that 3 into our second derivative result, we get 18 minus 12, or positive 6. And since the second derivative is now positive, a relative minima occurs at x equals 3. So as we mentioned, the relative maxima occurs at x equals 1. Plugging 1 into our original function and simplifying, we get 5. So 5, when y is 5, we're at a relative maxima. And the relative minima occurs when x is 3, plugging 3 into our original function and simplifying, we get 1. So when y equals 1, we're at a relative minima. Okay, that's it.